crisis or narrowing of the heart valve affects millions around the world. In Australia, more than 12,000 people a year need a heart valve replacement. And while new valves using animal tissue have come a long way, they come with limitations. But thanks to world-leading research happening right here in Perth, a better option is now on the horizon. Classic cars often need a bit of extra care as they clock up the miles. And sometimes, so do their owners. Out of breath, um, and you know, couldn't walk long distances, and um, like coming up the hill, this hill where we live, you know, I, was, I was, you know, grabbing the, the handrail to get, get myself up. So in February this year, Brian Dunn did something about it, undergoing a fairly common, minimally invasive procedure called TAVI, where a new valve made from animal tissue is inserted through an artery directed up into the heart and fixed into position. The effect was immediate. I feel the difference every day. Get up in the morning and um, just about bounce out of bed. At 76, Brian is hoping his new valve will last the rest of his life. But for some patients, that won't be the case. That animal tissue invariably degenerates with time and can you know, narrow up even within five years. So if you're young and you've got one of these heart valves, you're then faced with the problem that you need another repeat procedure, which is, can be quite high risk, or sometimes you're even inoperable. Even with the latest technology, trying to mimic one of the most complex structures in the body hasn't been easy. When you look at our normal valve, it opens and closes 30 to 40 million times a year. And it's very thin, incredibly thin, yet very strong to withstand the very harsh heart environment of high pressure, high flows. So as an engineer, that's a very big challenge. Hopefully though, a solution is within reach. Being put through its paces at the Harry Perkins Institute in Netherlands, this is a prototype of the world's first 3D printed heart valve. An intricate scaffold of polymer fibres, thinner than a human hair. We can actually copy the natural design of our healthy lipids and engineer a valve that can open and close exactly the same way. This would be a total game changer. To be able to give a patient the reassurance that it's one procedure for the rest of their life and we can give them the quality of life that they want is really reassuring as a physician. With a recent boost from local venture capital group Fund WA, the team at Coromedics is hoping to start human trials in two to three years, then take the technology to the world and a global market worth billions. It's amazing. It's happening right here in Perth. Uh, we have uh, world-class scientists here, world-class research institutes here, uh, and nobody really knows about them and no one really knows about the, the world-changing stuff they're already doing. Our role is to help them take that from the lab and get that out into the patient's hands. You're back.